Sustaining the growth of a super city needs plenty of electricity. The UAE, in its latest national agenda, decided to shift its reliance on oil and gas towards green and clean energy. In this region, uh, generally, the sunlight is almost available every day. Though rich in gas, the country has vowed a bold transition to clean energy. By 2050, half of the electricity generated in the UAE will come from clean sources. With its vast uninhabited spaces and long hours of strong sunshine, generating electricity from solar power is a natural choice. challenge that we face in this region is the cleaning. So we were in a need to come up with a solution such as robotic cleaning. This small robot cleans dust and sand from solar panels. Thousands of its co-workers wipe 4 million solar panels daily at this, the world's largest single-site solar farm. Humans, in fact, are rarely seen here except in this office. This is the brain of the entire power plant. Its smooth and continued functioning depends on these engineers. It has been equipped with state-of-the-art technology. At its full design capacity, it can generate enough electricity for some 160,000 homes across the UAE. So during the uh, design phase of this plant, uh, we made sure that the most recent technologies and uh, let's say available, all available artificial intelligence tools are being uh, implemented in this plant. The construction of such a huge plant that can work efficiently in such an extreme environment requires technology and experience. This company from China was able to supply them. I participated in the first utility scale solar project in Abu Dhabi back in 2008. I participated in the first solar project in uh, Kuwait, in Oman, in uh, Qatar, and in Jordan. Uh, and almost the first solar project as well in Saudi Arabia. Ten years ago, Wathana was drawn by this green vision to join this Chinese company. Well, I, I, uh, as I mentioned, I've been in the solar industry since 2008. Um, and that was the timing where uh, uh, the supply chain and the manufacturing started to switch from uh, Europe or uh, from west to east uh, to China, where China started to take over and move toward the massive protection of the solar industry. Uh, we indeed see Abu Dhabi uh, in a specific and the GCC as the key market. Uh, it's, a, it's a country and a region where uh, there is a very clear uh, long-term vision and long-term strategy toward turning from fossil fuel to renewable energy. Over recent years, China has been actively building closer partnerships for green development with various parties, helping partner countries to strengthen the training of green talents and promote the Green Silk Road Envoys program, which has so far trained more than 3,000 people from over 120 countries. With increasing production of clean energy, the UAE's goal of transitioning to a green future is well within sight. <laughs>